we are going to learn about using the JavaScript conditional if expression. If you are familiar with using it, feel free to skip this presentation. We will apply the conditional if expression to our code that selects the next img element. Lines 12, 14, 15, and 16 select the next img element, and we have proved that they work. However, we can combine them into one line using a conditional if expression. A conditional if is actually three expressions. One is a Boolean logic expression. Then there are two alternative expressions. If the Boolean logic expression is true, then alternative expression one is used, and alternative expression two is ignored. If the Boolean expression is false, the reverse is true. Alternative expression one is ignored, and alternative expression two is used. The conditional if expression uses the question mark and colon operators to separate the three expressions. These are usually called the ternary operators. Snippet one is an example. The Boolean expression test if the jQuery next method's length property is greater than zero. If the test is true, then expression one is selected. In our case, it is the jQuery object returned by the next method. If the test is false, then expression two is selected. And we are selecting the first img element within the fade dash group div element. Replace lines 11 to 17 of the cross fade js file with snippet one. Save and retest in the web browser. The code should work as before. Ultimately, it is a programmer's choice as both code solutions work identically. The if block approach may make code easier to read. And if you need other coding for the same logic, you are ready to go. The conditional if expression works well when one variable has two possible expressions, but it might make code more difficult to read. Breaking into multiple lines separated by operators helps overcome that. Mm -hmm.